So the next thing that we are going to learn is how we can add a constructor injection in our view model. Currently we have one view model over here and that we are making use it in our main fragment over here. So let's go to the main view model and to make use of this main view model we need to create some repository and for that let me go to the repository package and create a new interface and just create a dummy interface or a dummy repository over here i'll just call it as a user user repository and this is an interface so we will add some abstract function over here and we'll just call it as a function to get the uh, let's say our uh, data da we need to get the database name so da tabac database name and the written type is of the string and also we will have another function to get the user list over here and the type is of the written type is of the list or list of string okay so we got that and let us create the implementation for this one i'll just go and create another sorry rp osi user repository implementation and now i will extend the user repository and then we will just override the function of the get the database name and also we need to override the function of the get the user list and this one we will add a constructor over here to get a well, let's say a private val of the we need a database right so database name and uh, we will just get it from the database name annotation so we have a qualifier and i'll just add the qualifier of the database name over here and uh, then uh, what we will do is we will set this as a singleton and uh, then from here we will just uh, return our database name that we have and what it does say okay so this is not the annotation that we have to make use we have to set it as a type of the string and from here we will just return the list of the user and we'll just add some of the user over here let's say the from david and the second let's add as a sita and then we have another one as a Rita. So this is just returning a list of dummy list of the user and this is returning the database name which we are getting from the our constructor. So what we need to do now is uh, we need to so uh, we have to go and set this one first of all. So let's go to the application module over here and uh, we need to provide the database name and also we need to provide this uh, this user repository implementation. So let's create a one more provide over here and I'll just make it as a singleton and add provide the annotation and function to provide our user uh, user repository, right? And this will require us to pass the at the database name annotation um, and the qualifier and we just say as a database database name and the type is of the string and the written type will be of the user repository implementation so we'll just return from here the user repository implementation and pass our database name over here so i think that should be able to provide this particular uh, repository for us and which makes now our repository available for the dependency injection in our view model so now we will go back to our view model and here in the constructor okay so first of all we need to add the inject over here and provide the constructor 
and here I need a private val of the user repository implementation so I'll just remove this and set it as a user repository and here we need to make use of the annotation at healed view model so at healed view model so make sure we have to add this annotation over here and if you want to read the documentation you can just go and the, the view model annotation with the hilt view or uh, hilt view model will be available on by the by creation of the dagger hill so this is actually making use of the dagger hill to create all of our uh, you can see that example if we have some uh, constructor in our view model so we can do the constructor injection right otherwise uh, previously when we were actually using a dagger only not the dagger hill we had to create a, a view model provider factory and do all of those uh, provide the constructor injection over there but with the help of this uh, android uh, sorry the hilt view model we don't have to create our own extra view model provider factory class and provide the injection over there if you are confused about what I'm talking about here, about the dagger and other stuff, uh, you need to have some basic understanding about the dagger uh, if you want to understand more clearly about the hilt. So hilt is also making use of the dagger, as you can see dagger dot hilt over here. So don't go just deep into it. Just make sure that you add this one, and if you don't want to know about the implementation and other stuff, so you don't have to carry. So just remember that whenever we are creating a view model, we have to make use of the add field uh, hilt view model over here. And if we have some constructor parameter, you can pass it over here. Now we will just go and create some of the required variables. So I'll just say a private val and first of all we need a data base name. And this is of the mutable live data that we need and this is a type of the string and this is of equals to the immutable live data and then we'll create a, another variable of the database name and this is a type of the live data so l i v live data and the type is of the string as well and then we'll just get it from our underscore database name so why I'm actually doing it this this is just for our view model access where we can update and update edit the or set the value for our database name but this we will be using from our fragment so from the fragment we don't want to set it the value to the database only from our view model we will be able to set the value for our particular database so that is a good practice so whenever you are creating a live data it should be only available to uh, add the value from our view model but we are just going to read it from our work fragment itself and another we also need another value variable over here private val with just a user list and this is a type of the mutable live data type is of the list of the string right so we have a string type string string type and this is also of the mutable live data and then we will have another val of the this should be of the underscore and then we have another one as a user list and this is type of the live live data and this is will be type of the list and or type of the string over here list of string and then this we will get it from our underscore user list okay so we got that our variable and then we will create the add the init block and then we will add some function over here so we'll make this one as a private function to get the data database name right and okay so we'll get the database name and let's just uh, make use of the view model scope over here and then i'll just launch it sorry not the plus 
last the view model scope so we want to get the coating scope so if you have some like, long running tabs you can make use of the coating scope to do all of this stuff in the different uh, coating scopes or the you are you can set it in the background traits all of those stuff you can make use using the coating and if you are not familiar with the coating make sure you go and check out my course in the udemy where i have a full course regarding the kotlin coatings and then what we'll do is we'll just set the value to our database name and dot the value and which is of the course we will get it from the our repository that we have dot i'll just get the database name and then uh, we will create another private function over here get the user uh, list and then this will be also we'll call it from the view model scope dot the launch and here we have our user list dot the value and then we'll set it call it from the user repository that we have and dot get the user list and then whenever our view model is uh, instantiated or created we will just call this particular get the database name and the get the user list so whenever our view model is ready it will just go and get the data and then now we'll go back to our fragment over here and uh, then we will i think we don't have to so let us make use of the uh, android ktx extension which we can make use of for our view model in our fragment to just make by calling by and i can just pass the view models over here so currently i think we don't have uh, we have not added that one so let's go to the over here and yeah i think we don't have we have not added that one so core ktx is added but let me go back to over here and this is a documentation you can just go to the developer.com slash kotlin slash ktx and here you can just go for the fragment ktx we are going to use that one and i need to grab this implementation and why i'm grabbing this one is i can make use of most of the uh, I can reduce the code right so i using the ktx uh, module or the this particular extension i can do a lot of stuff uh, with this shorthand or i can write a less code and do more things so if you don't know you can just read the documentation that the android ktx is a set of the kotlin extension that are included with the android jetpack components and with other android libraries with the ktx uh, extension provides a concise and uh, indominated kotlin to a uh, jetpack and the android platform and other apis so to do so to use this extension we have to make use so we can use like the extension function extension properties lambda so all of those stuff can be uh, used using the kotlin ktx and you can see we can write the franchise code right so we can just write a less code and do more things so let's just go back to our project and i will add that dependency over here just synchronize that one and uh, if the synchronization is ready then we can just go back to our fragment over here and then instead of the private let in it i can just go and get like a private val view model and by the you know, view models so i can just sorry it should be of the view models so i can just get it from here and i think i can just remove it because i have already added as uh, this view model is of the type each of the main view model so i don't have to explicitly mention over here so that should get us the view model by lazy so if you don't know what this actually does if you can just go and see that this property is accessed only with the fragment is attached that is the fragment on attach so this is actually 
going to attach in our fragment that one attach is called and this are going to do some delegation or by using the view model by default scope in our fragment uh, which is actually it will create our view model legally so if you are a bit confused over there by view model we just actually going to create our view model legally so it is not going to create at the time our fragment is created it will be only created when we are going to actually access this particular instance of the view model so if you don't access it it's not going to create any view model for us so it will be created on the time of our first access so how do we access our view model which will just go on create over here or yeah i think i'll just create a private uh, val and i'll just get the database data is um, bsc data bsc name over here and, and then we can just go and call the view model dot and i can just get the database name dot the observe and call it as a view lifecycle owner and i want to observe that particular life cycle over here and uh, then why it is giving me error private did i make something mistake over here no right okay so sorry that the value should be of the function sorry for that one and uh, then uh, we can set this particular binding right we don't want to set it from there i want to set it from our view model itself now and then I want to create the another private function over here and get the users and this will go and call the view model that we have that get the uh, user list that we have and then we can observe this particular live data and then pass the view lifecycle owner and here we will get that particular value and now we will get a list of the users so let's go and add one main fragment and let us add one text view to add our user list so i'll just add a text view over here you if you want you can just go and add any other list view or recycle view if that's up to you so i'll just say as txt uh, user list and uh, then I'll just remove this text over here and let us go back to the fragment and now I can just call I think I need a list so I need a string builder over here to make it as a string so I'll just go and uh, private uh, where and I will just call it as a string builder and this is of the string builder and i just say by by lazy and then i create it a string builder string builder inside here and what it is actually saying me it changed it to val okay so we have a string builder which will be initialized lazily so whenever we call our first time same as by by lazy by view model it's also going to create our string builder lazily so whenever we call it only at that time it will be created so we need to call it over here so string builder dot i need to append it and add the the value from our list so for this we have a user list so user list i will just say and this uh, user list dot i will just look to it so for each and then i will append that text inside of a string builder so just add it over here and then second we'll also add a space to have some space over there and then finally i can just set the binding dot we have our user list dot text right and then we will set as the string builder that we have okay so i think that's the thing that we have to get and then we will call this function like from here so get the uh, 
database name that we have and we will get the database name and here we will get the user list and we'll call that get the get the users okay so i think that should be fine now and everything looks good so let us try to run and see if we have any error over here and uh, let's wait for the gradle build to complete over here okay so it looks like the launch is successful and if i okay the app didn't launch over here but it's saying it launched so let me go to the log cat and yeah i think we have some error over here so we get some error on the view model i think the view model is not created so we have a, a, a fatal exception on the main and cannot create an instance of the class of our main view model so why it is not able to create our view model is okay so here the fragment that we have we need to make it as a add android entry point why because we are injecting that uh, particular view model over here so if you are not doing any injection or do you are not adding any dependency injection over here then this should be fine so if you don't have an entry point over here that should work fine but whenever we are doing some injection or when if you take a look on the activity over here so here we are also injecting it over here right so we are injecting our database service the car functionality all of those stuff so if you remove this one you will get the same error and that is because whenever we said that at android entry point we said that there is we require the injection over there so that the hilt have to do some injection over there that's why we said that okay on activity main we have this android entry point now it's ready for doing all of the injection using the dagger or the dagger hit so same thing we have to do it over here so we have to make sure that this fragment has to be annotated with that and android entry point and then we can actually just go and make use of our injection over here so because the view model has some injection right so we are injecting the constructor over here so all of those stuff that we need to set it over here so let me remove all, all of one of unused stuff from there or the import from there so i think that should fix our issue and let us try to run our application one more time and looks like the launch is successful let us go okay yeah now we caught that one and now you can see we have this is coming from our view model and also the david sita and rita this particular list is also coming from our view model so we were able to create a view model and then we we're able to inject it on the constructor so this was really difficult previously using our dagger only so when we don't uh, didn't have a hill at that time we have to create a different like a view model provider factory and then do our all of the take for our classes and create the instance and provide the uh, instance that we need over there so at that time we had to create a different class and do all of those injection so uh, with the dagger hilt uh, it is really easy to do all of those uh, constructor injection previously it was really difficult to add this particular uh, constructor parameter to our view model because it doesn't it doesn't by default it doesn't have any things to do with this particular in uh, constructor parameter way if you provide then it was not able to build it so we have to create a different factory a view model provider factory class and provide all of those stuff so if you want to learn more about the, um, the dagger and all of those stuff make sure you check out my course on the udemy i have a complete course on the dagger where i have explained everything about the dagger and all of those stuff so i hope you learned uh, about the view model dependency injection and uh, hope you enjoyed it